Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about optical layer protection. So these are content of today's topic. First we will discuss about some introduction and benefits of optical layer protection. Then some limitations of that optical layer protection and different schemes that are used in optical layers so first come to the introduction and benefits till now we discuss about protection in sonnet protection in ip okay so today we will discuss about benefits of optical layer protection the first is the optical layer provides light paths for use by its client layer such as sonnet ip and 10 gigabit ethernet next one significant cost saving can be realized by making use of optical layer protection instead of client layer protection means instead of sonnet or ip layer protection if you use that optical layer protection it is more cost efficient next optical layer protection is more efficient because it shares the protection resources across multiple pairs of client layers equipment in contrast client layer protection mechanism cannot share the protection resource between different or independent clients generally the cost of a router port is significantly higher than the cost per port of optical layer equipment therefore it is cheaper to reserve protection bandwidth in the optical layer rather than have additional ports in ip routers for this purpose and optical layer can handle some faults more efficiently than the client layers here the diagram shows the benefits of optical layers protection compared to the protecting the ip layer as we can see in the first diagram all the protection mechanism is handled by routers two diversely routed wdm links are used each ip routers use three working ports and three protect three protect ports to protect against both fiber cuts and equipment failure but in case of in the second diagram a single wdm line system is deployed with protection against fiber cuts handled by optical layer equipment failure are handled by the ip layer the ip router now use three working ports and then only one additional port in case of one working port fails okay so what is the benefit in the first case three protection layers was used for each path but in the case if you use optical layer protection only one protection path is used okay next optical layer protection can be used to provide an additional degree of resilience in the network for instance to protect against multiple failures next protection in sonnet is currently based on rings that are upsr and blsr that we discussed in sonnet layers okay ring based screen requires that the capacity in the network reserved for protection be equal to the capacity used for traffic within the optical layer 
a variety of mesh based protection scheme are being developed these offers the promise of requiring significantly less protection capacity than ring based scheme and these scheme could also be applied in the zone net loan these are some benefits why we use optical layer protection but there are some limitations also by on using optical layer protection first is not all the failures can be handled by the optical layers suppose if we are using a laser and in case of any failure occurs in that so optical layer protection cannot handle that next is the optical layer may not be able to detect the appropriate conditions that would cause it to invoke protection switching next the optical layer protects traffic in units of light paths and it cannot protect parts of traffic within a light path and not protect other parts protection routes in the optical layer may be longer than the primary routes and the choice of alternate routes may be severely limited due to link budget consideration now come to optical layer protection schemes so many protection schemes are used for optical layer protection first one is 1 plus 1 oms protection oms is optical multiplex section okay it is the simplest layer protection scheme the composite wdm signal is divided into two diverse path using an optical splitter at the one end and the a switch is used to select the better among them okay now next is one ratio one oms protection this protection scheme is somehow same as that we use in sonet protection scheme it support a low priority traffic and also the ability to have an working scheme shared a single protection system third one is oms dp ring that is dedicated protecting ring it is also similar to sonet upsr what was upsr and we use in sonet upsr was unidirectional path switched ring except that it operates at the oms or optical line layer where the upsr was operated in sonet path layer next is oms spring spring means shared protection ring it is analogous to sonet blsr4 with some changes next one ratio and transponder protection the transponder may be protected in this one ratio and transponder protection configuration by having a spare transponder for every n working transponder next one ratio one och means optical channel dedicated protection two light light paths on disjoint routers are set up for each client connection next och spring this scheme operates at the optical channel layer and not the optical multiplex section layer next och mesh protection and next one is gm pls protection that gm pls protection supports span and path protection.